I watched in the United Nations General Assembly some speakers from a number of countries who very warmly expressed how much they appreciated the support that India, that Prime Minister Modi, that the BJP gave to their nations when they were struggling under COVID. Remember, India gave 70 nations vaccines and not at profit because Prime Minister Modi said, we cannot profit from the suffering of other human beings. You know, this is Vasudeva Kutumbukum, the, the, the world is one family in action. That's not the action of a fascist. You know, that's not the behavior of a Nazi party. You've expressed how Modi, Modiji is very dharmic with his Hindu values, not charging people for their suffering, helping. So basically, if we go back to Hindutva, it's actually quite the opposite of fascism, don't you think? Let's uh, repeat that so that those who are hard of hearing and hard of comprehension understand it clearly. Let's say that Prime Minister Modi, the BJP, are Hindutva parties. This is the allegation. Their actions are to supply 70 countries with vaccines at cost and not make a profit. That's not fascism. That's the antithesis of fascism. That's the opposite of fascism. In Hindutva, the foundational principle is that to be a human being is a good thing. It's a divine thing. And that in each of us, there is a spark of divinity present. And that the body is just clothing. That but the beautiful part of a human being is that little glimmer of divinity that is inside of us waiting to be recognized and waiting to find articulation. And if that's your vision, and that's what Prime Minister Modiji's policy internationally has been, then that's Hindutva. And you're absolutely right. Hindutva is, by essence, by tattva, and in action, the complete polar opposite of fascism. Mm.